Okay, this is just going to be a bunch of rambling <clears throat> about things I've been learning about and experiencing a little bit here and there. You can see my nice little trash pile in this car. I have raisins in there somewhere. I wanted to add them to my cereal, but I just couldn't find them. I got way too much different varieties of food, but it's it's difficult because I, I want a wide variety of food, and it's difficult to to to, to maintain a, that type of variety. I I like try to get these food jars. I might get a couple more just so I can mix and match things. I I'll pretty much have two categories, one for food and one for potato type stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm still in Port Angeles and it's a strange town. Okay, let me just say that it's unbelievably clean. Okay, but it's got a weird criminal element to it. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's that, that round trash bin thing. That thing is huge, and they're all over the place. They do a really good job of keeping yards clean. I think they might have a strong ordinance in favor of clean yards, but it still doesn't seem to detract criminal activity. <clears throat> I mean, I see people doing weird, crazy things. There's homeless people all over. Um, just yesterday I saw some kid kick all the handicap signs with his foot. But they didn't get knocked over. But you could hear a good loud smack. There were high school kids running up and down this parking lot here. It was crazy. I can show you a little bit of that. The high school is just up the hill. So that's a little bit of the, the parking lot that I'm sleeping in. It's it's just it's got this uh, this weird um, style this culture to it where it's it's clean, but regardless of how clean it is, it's still got a criminal element to it. And I might be a little disturbed from reading this this book. Charlie Charlie Wilson's War, which I got from Squim Library. I mean, my God, there's so much fucking underhanded stuff going on in this world. And they're really highlighting it with the book. And I, I can relate to it because I've been alive through all that shit. All these underhanded dealings with the CIA and the MI5. It's just unbelievable. I mean... Just giving all these Afghan Muslims the weapons they need to fight off Russians. I don't know if it's such a great idea. They really love to fight these Muslims, and to just fuel that isn't has really had repercussions. Yeah, I'm glad they felt sorry. Uh, Charlie Wilson and his, his cronies felt all sorry for him, and on uh, what the Russians are doing, but god damn, it's, it's like, there's so much underhanded stuff going on, it makes me think about, like, Ukraine going on right now, on how much of an influence the MI5 and even CIA have to do with the re revolutions going on against Russia, I mean, that's what's going on in Afghanistan, and they were ones behind all the, the subterfuge and shit against Russia, and you know that's got to be going on in, in the Ukraine, too. It's just, it's amazing. But, yeah, on top of that, I'm just still so pissed off about the, the nutrition. All this nutrition crap. Wheat bran. D, D, what do I, de-germinated wheat bran. So, they take out the endosperm, they take out the bran, they take out... Oh, shit, I forgot to... I have germ too I could have put in my cereal. But they got these these tiny seeds. They f they figured out in the late 1800s how to separate it into three pieces. And people still think that whole oats all this 
all these whole oats and shit. These these are not whole, okay? They took out the bran, they degerminated it. It's just the endosperm, okay? It should be called oat endosperm, okay? You don't have a gluten intolerance, you have an endosperm intolerance. It's just amazing. It really pisses me off on how these people, how these manufacturers can get away with all this. I even see they de degerminate corn. It's just, corn is, is uh, pretty damn sweet by itself, but to remove germ on top of that really smacks us in the face with poor nutrition. And then the the manufacturers go so far as to extract all the the drug, the glucose. That's a drug. Okay, the glucose, and it's it's extracted from the sucrose. See fructose, high fructose corn syrup. Fructose is a drug. Glucose is damn close. It's pretty much a drug. Okay, sucrose. I guess I would say that it's in a more whole form and that it's good, okay? As long as it stays in the whole foods, it's healthy and not a drug, but they extract the sucrose. Then they break the sucrose down into fructose and glucose, and there you got drugs. It's the same damn process they use for cocaine, for caffeine, for um, heroin, uh, for nicotine, I mean, it's an extraction process, and it's an extrusion process where they use solvents <clears throat> and they break down the chemical bonds. And it's even worse if, if if they it's even worse if they do it if they make a synthetic blend of it. That's even worse. But it's not as efficient. It's 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 just silly to even consider synthetics. But uh, yeah, they do. Um, the plant would have to be pretty much on a um, endangered species list to be uh, you know to make it really necessary to turn to synthetics all this shit's just uh, it's just swirling through my head and it's just unbelievable it's hard I've lost a little bit of faith in humanity with all that's going on even the Malaysian flight it's like you know what's going on they know they're saying it's it's terrorist activity it's amazing to watch this stuff develop um, but it's like, <clears throat> still, it's it's uh, messed up what's going on. Okay, two Iranians, they were seeking asylum, 119, 121 at age 29, seeking asylum in Germany, and now it's uh, it's turning into a hijacking. I wouldn't trust an, an Arab as far as I can throw him. I just watched this stupid, this, this a really cool actually Vice TV, Vice show on YouTube. You go to the Vice uh, channel and they're dealing with camels and doing a camel beauty contest. And it's like, um, all I could see were terrorists because it was in the UAE and I've had experience with Muslims. I mean, I was stationed over in Bahrain and Kuwait and so I didn't care for their culture. I didn't care for their mannerisms or any of that. I must stop.